Space Secrets readers, this is Carlo here at Munich High End 2024, and I'm here in the Macintosh Group room with the newly introduced Sonus Faber Sonetto Generation 2, right? Generation 2, yeah. That's fantastic. Look at that. And as you can immediately see, it's taken, they've taken a few uh, tricks from the uh, Suprema, it looks like. But before we get into that, I'm going to introduce you to... Florian Marmis. Hello. From Sonus Faber. Yes. Good to see you, Florian. Good to see you. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, yeah. So the uh, the new Sonetto is the uh, is the big uh, the big news here at uh, at Munich, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. So we are announcing uh, this new line of uh, Sonetto at uh, Munich this year. Mm -hmm. So we redesigned uh, seven um, speakers from uh, the Sonetto line. So there are like three floor standings: Sonetto three, five, and eight. Mm -hmm. Two bookshelves: Sonetto one and two, and uh, one central channel and and one on wall uh, product. Oh my gosh. So basically, uh, if someone wanted to set up an entire Sonetto based home theater system, they could do that. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Hey, can you uh, uh, sort of walk us through some of the uh, some of the details uh, sure. of yeah, the new yeah. speaker? Okay. So, for instance, here you have uh, our new uh, Sonetto 3. Okay. So and this and you said that there's there's three towers all together. There is three towers. So, sorry. So this is like the Sonetto. Oh, okay. Eight. Okay. Oh, so this is the biggest one then, right? This is the biggest one. So oh, as you can that. see, a few things changed. So for instance, here we have like now two 8-inch drivers. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Very nice. We have one 6.5-inch uh, uh, mid-range. Okay. And, and that, one, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> and one 1.1-inch uh, 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 tweeter. Okay. Look at that. And that's the that's a traditional uh, traditional voice of Sonus Faber. Exactly. Unit yeah. there, and uh, the the uh, the dampened tweeter, the DAD tweeter, mm -hmm. and that's the uh, basically the Camellia. Camellia. This is called yeah the Camellia mid-range. So it's a technology we derived uh, derived uh, directly from the Suprema system, mm -hmm. and uh, this was our goal. Uh, actually with this new Sonetto line. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that it's a line that uh, people uh, loved in the past, uh, uh, very important for us. And uh, what we wanted to do is uh, by redesigning the product to try to include uh, as much as possible the new technologies, the new concepts mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we had with uh, our uh, very high-end uh, speakers mm -hmm. and especially with the Suprema. Wow. I love the finish on this. This is like the the wall, uh, like a walnut finish, right? This is a walnut, yeah. It's a walnut veneer, open pour. Oh, look at that! And that, that, I love the, how you guys have got the uh, that uh, angled grain going up at the top. Yeah. That's really, really, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Ah, oh. and I was noticing too. This, these are is, this a, is that like a concrete base it's got now? Exactly. Yeah. So basically, all of the speakers have uh, this concrete base, uh, except for the wall, the on mm -hmm. wall, and the uh, center channel. Mm -hmm. But uh, it has many benefits. So the first one is that it adds uh, some uh, uh, structure uh, to the um, to the speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, we have like the weight that is uh, lower, so it's like much more stable speaker. Okay. Uh, for the floor standings, especially since it's a uh, uh, down firing uh, speaker system, mm -hmm. so the vent is like here. Okay. And fires on this uh, on this uh, plate of concrete. Okay. So it uh, so it uh, it um, diffu hits the con hits the concrete plate and it diffuses off the concrete exactly. plate. Exactly. Um, gotcha. That's quite important, especially you know uh, it adds more uh, versatility mm -hmm. to uh, the placement of your speaker. So, for instance, you can now place it on bigger carpet, for instance, and it won't affect so much the radiation of the vent. Gotcha. Yeah. No, it looks it looks super stylish. I mean, the feel of it is just yeah. really. It's very, very nice. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, here, for instance, you can see the Sonetto 3. That's the 3, all right. Yeah. Again, so, same one finish. Here but the 3 doesn't have the Camellia driver. No, because the 3 is a quite um, a strange design, let me say. So it has uh, two, uh, what, we call, what we can call uh, woofers, actually, but one is used as a pure woofer mm -hmm. and one as a mid woofer. Okay. So it's a quite uh, interesting design because uh, there is two chambers. There is this woofer that is uh, a vented port uh, speaker okay. that is firing uh, down firing. All right. And this mid woofer that will cross with the tweeter mm -hmm. is also a vented port uh, design, but the vent is at the rear of the speaker. Ah, okay. So this is like a 2.5-way uh, speaker. Gotcha. So both of the woofers are uh, working together in the low frequency range, mm -hmm. and then the woofer is uh, cut off while okay. the mid-woofer extend higher in frequencies. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. So two and a half way design. Exactly, then. for the Sonetto 3, yeah. Very nice. Very pretty. And here we start getting into the uh, the bookshelf models. Yes, uh, so the bookshelves. 
Right, so this is the Sonetto 2. This is the Sonetto 2, so two -way, uh, classic two-way speaker. Mm -hmm. So you can see also here uh, the concrete base. Yeah. And this is a front-vented port system. So basically, you know, we wanted to keep this uh, front-firing uh, uh, system mm -hmm. uh, to be able also to place the speakers closer to the walls or maybe in some bookshelf. And um, it won't add, you know, this big amount of bass uh, uh, that can be very um, not pleasant to hear. Mm -hmm. So on this one it's quite interesting because inside the speaker mm -hmm. we implemented our uh, internal technology that is a resonator uh, that you can find for instance in the homage line of speakers. Oh really? Yeah, okay. but actually it's quite a bit different because this uh, resonator is placed on the vent itself. So basically you kind of uh, capture the resonances of the vent okay. to uh, avoid them to be played uh, through the port. Oh, all right, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Great. Now that's not something I'd say that's user adjustable. That's not that's just no, built no, no. in and it's set it's set the way it should be set. Exactly, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Very neat. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's love love yeah. I mean the simple just the simple but gorgeous lines. Exactly. It just it just works so well. Here you very can see also, you know, uh, something that derivates from uh, the Suprema. Yeah. So you can see very closely there is uh, the inner um, cutoff of um, of the surround, that is the special shape that reminds also the camellia pattern. That was going to say, yeah, I saw that. that yeah, okay. the, um, so that's that's not just for aesthetics, though, right? It's, uh, no, 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 no. So basically, uh, the main goal here uh, is, you know, like the, the matching in between the cone and the surround. <laughs> we try to reduce as much as possible uh, circular shapes mm -hmm. because basically, for this kind of drivers, one of the first modes of uh, resonance of vibration of the structure mm -hmm. is the circumferential one. And so you kind of cut this uh, symmetry, the axis symmetric, mm -hmm. and extend the linear range of the driver. Ah, uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Very neat. It's great. So yeah. So then we got the uh, the, the Sonetto two, and then over here we have the Sonetto one. Yes. Uh, so Sonetto one, same principle than the Sonetto two. Mm -hmm. uh, just with a smaller driver that is a 5.25 inch uh, midwoofer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know. Uh, for this new line of Sonetto, we redesigned entirely all of the drivers, mm -hmm. so they are brand new for this Sonetto line. So, com so completely new, yeah. newly designed drivers yeah. for the for the new Sonetto line. All of them, exactly. Okay. So, Everything. but you know, we kept some uh, we kept some uh, important things to us. For instance, the uh, the tweeter, more right. still, uh, still silk dome. Mm -hmm. <coughs> But we uh, redesigned a little bit the shape of the dome, and mm. as you can see, also, also like the um, the surround is a bit thicker. Mm, yeah. And basically, we we studied it in, in order to extend uh, the high frequency reproduction, mm -hmm. uh, respecting, for instance, uh, uh, to the Lumina system. Okay. That's something we, we worked on, and then yeah, all of the base drivers. Um, so we have also the organic baskets mm -hmm. that are present, for instance, also. Oh, that's the right. Supreme. The organic, the, the organic, get that forged basket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. So you know, this is. The aim of that is uh, just to let the, the cone move uh, more freely mm -hmm. without uh, any without blocking actually the air at gotcha. the back of the driver. Gotcha. And also, it's a much more stiffer basket that we used in the past. Now, uh, just a quick question: these uh, these stands are they uh, they are they are officially the stands for the Sonetto line? Yes. Yep. Okay, so that's where the con the concrete base matches the concrete. Uh, Base of the, of the, uh, the speaker, speaker. Yeah. and that is part of the speaker. It's not part exactly. of the stand. That is yeah, part yeah. of the speaker. Yes, that is very cool. Oh, it's gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Elegant, sophisticated, understated, but very gorgeous. Nice. Very nice. And then over here is like the on wall. This is the on wall. Yeah. Look at that. So there we go. A little bit different uh, choice of uh, of project uh, on this one too because uh, it's a closed box system. Mm -hmm. Where it's a two way with a six point five inch uh, mid woofer mm -hmm. and the uh, same tweeter than the entire uh, series. Wow, look at that! And basically, the choice of having this uh, closed box system for the on wall mm -hmm. uh, was to keep the driver very fast, uh, very uh, to respond very uh, quickly mm -hmm. with a nice transient. And we thought it was a, a nice choice for uh, the on-wall system. Any idea how, uh, when mounted on a wall, how low, uh, how low that'll reach? Well, actually, yeah, the, the low, um, the low end is also um, made by the effect of the wall. Right. Uh, Reinforcement. Oof, I would have to, to double check. I don't remember actually, but more or less it was as the um, the previous design of the G1 series. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, even with the closed box, we reach the same low frequency range than the G1 series. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Very neat. Uh, it's so nice that you guys have an on-wall uh, on version. That's awesome. That is very awesome. Oh, cool.
This is great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then this and was then the, uh, the remaining the Sonito Five here. Yep. There it so is. So the Sonito Five also has the mid range, so oh, white the color with the camellia pattern. Yeah. Very nice. And also this, uh, the, the, the choice of having uh, the white comb, more than just having it uh, aesthetically nice. Mm -hmm. It was also like, you know, we didn't want to, to get the cone with uh, some uh, pigmentation to make it uh, black colored. Mm -hmm. So we tried to keep, it, uh, to keep it as natural as possible. Yeah. And that's one of the main reasons why we have these uh, new white cones on Suprema and also on uh, this new Sonata. Now, what... Um I, f I forget. What's the uh, the cone material made out of? Is it, uh, it's a paper. It, it's, a pa paper yeah. it's paper, right? Paper, yeah. yeah. Treated paper. Very nice. It looks like all natural fiber and everything, too. Exactly, yeah. And, and you were mentioning one. that the uh, the edges of the um, the edges of the uh, the outside of the cone on mm -hmm. on this Camellia driver are a little different from the ones in the Suprema, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of uh, smoothed. So yeah. if you remember when on the Suprema, it's like more uh, straight uh, angles. Mm -hmm. And now we smoothed out of the pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you know, we keep on trying to improving uh, uh, everything we're making. So. We made some more simulations, um, we made some more tests, and actually we, we found that for this line, the, this pattern, uh, firstly it looks very nice, and mm -hmm. uh, also yeah, it was uh, leading to very good uh, acoustic results. Very nice. Yeah, no, it's, again, all t I mean, this is a stunning speaker in the whole, in the whole line itself. I think it's just like, it's, it seems just like a beautiful, a beautiful uh, evolution of the, uh, of the original, oh, yeah. the original um, uh, Sonettos. Yeah. Very, very nice. And also, you know, while designing the driver, so for instance, here on the Sonnet 5, there is a two 6.5 inch uh, woofers. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there are sandwich uh, cones, so still paper, but uh, sandwich uh, structure, mm -hmm. in order to make them more rigid. And uh, they're extending very low in frequencies uh, for uh, this speaker, especially. Mm -hmm. And uh, we design also, you know, um, the motors uh, in such a way to try to decrease as much as possible out of the non-linearities. So, for instance, the, the woofers have uh, some aluminum demodulation ring on the motors. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's improved a lot, the, the sound quality, actually. Very, very cool. Uh, you guys have been busy. Yes. <laughs> you guys have been very, very busy. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, well, very cool. Well, I, I think I'll uh, pop into the back and maybe take a listen to... Uh, to what's uh, what's going on back yeah, here? Yeah, the there is the Stradivari ah. uh, on the other room. So okay. no sound demonstration for uh, the Sonetto today, unfortunately. Okay. Well, that's uh, all right. We'll get a chance yeah. to hear them. We, well, we we definitely want to see about getting some for review. So that'll be sure. that'll yeah, be yeah. very cool. So uh, no, Florian, thank you so much. We thank really you. appreciate it. Was it was a pleasure. All right. Good to thank see you, you and have a great rest of the show. Yeah, thank you. You bet. You too.